I have guarded my name as people in other times kept their own clipped hair, believing the soul could be scattered if they were careless. I knew my first ancestor, his legend. I have touched his boots and mustache, the grandfather whose people owned slaves and cotton. He was restless in Virginia among the gentlemen brothers until one peppered, flaming autumn, he stole a horse, rode over the mountains to marry a leaf-eyed Cherokee. The theft was forgiven, but never the Indian blood. He lost his family name and invented mine, gave it fruit and seeds. I never knew the grandmother. Her photograph had ink-thin braids and button clothes and nothing that she was called. But I could shed my name in the middle of life, the ordinary thing, and it would flee, along with childhood and dead grandmothers, to that limbo for discontinued maiden names. But it would grow restless there, I know this. I would ride over leaf-smoked mountains and steal horses.